Let's be honest. All of us have the irresistible desire to put off unpleasant tasks. Even though we know it's wrong to delay that 3000 word essay that is due in a week, we somehow end up scrolling to social media, watching YouTube videos, or doing anything but our work. And just like that, another day is gone without getting any work done. To put it simply, procrastination is when we put off completing a task we said we would do without good reason, despite anticipating adverse outcomes. But why does this happen? To answer this, let's take a look at our brain. The moment we realize we have to do our task, our brain handles it as a threat. The amygdala, a part of the limbic system, gets triggered and releases hormones, including adrenaline, that allows the activation of fear-related behaviors. The limbic system only cares about the present moment. The prefrontal cortex, however, which is almost the exact opposite, tries to bring some sense to us but fails as the impulses from the amygdala overpower the prefrontal cortex. Hence, in a state of panic, we decide to handle the threat by avoiding it and replacing it with a less stressful task. Traditionally, it was thought that procrastinators usually lack time management or are just lazy. But that's not the case. Most procrastinators do have an understanding of the time they have left. And laziness is when we do nothing and do not care for the project, not distracting ourselves with unimportant tasks. The reason for procrastination is when we have a negative emotion connected to the pending task, like insecurity, fear, guilt, etc. Many people who procrastinate are just perfectionists who are too toxic to themselves as they care too much and fear failure. Because of this, many chronic procrastinators suffer from high stress, anxiety, shame, and depression. So, how do we break the spiral of procrastination? There are a lot of simple strategies such as making a journal about why the task is stressful or removing distractions that make it easy for us to procrastinate. But one important thing to keep in mind is to acknowledge the negative emotion and just accept that feeling. Confronting the task we don't want to do instead of avoiding it can help us in beating procrastination. As of now, there's no fixed cure for procrastination. Different studies offer different advice that work for different people. So it can help to keep an open mind and have different strategies to try, as eventually the cycle of stress and procrastination can hurt all of us in the long term. My name is Gaurav Jayaprakash and thanks for watching. Entrance Sambatamaya Vartigalum Abdish Nigalum Eto Vekam Atikari Gamayarian Brilliant Study Center Pala YouTube channel subscribe Cheka Bell icon Amatuga E video Matasurtikalikum share share Nalkuga